Yo, what's going on? Tony from how to buy and sell your cars.com. I hope all is well. Um, if you want to learn how to buy and sell cars for profit, you need to know how to negotiate. All right. Same thing with real estate. Same thing with basically anything in life. You don't get what you ask for. You get what you negotiate. All right. And um, I've been getting some questions about this right here. This negotiation tactic or question right here is, Tony, if somebody, you know, came to look at my car and they really like it, right, but they don't have the money with them right now and they want me to hold it for them for like a week so they can get the money, what do I do in the meantime? Well, what you do in the meantime is keep selling it. All right, but you never want to count on somebody unless they give you a deposit. And here's how I recommend getting deposits. Hold on, let me just make this turn here. Let's let this guy go. Okay, so what I do is I create a little bill of sale uh, with a non-refundable deposit because people can waste your time here. And this is where you could make extra money and I've made extra money like this many, many times. Right, so you say the car that you're selling is $5,000, for example. Tell the guy, look, give me 10% down. All right, give me 500 bucks down. I'll hold the car for you for, you make up a specific time. If he's saying I only need seven days, tell him, all right, I'll give you 10 days. I'll give you 10 days to come up with the money. And um, it's non-refundable. All right, so you create a contract saying, hey, have the car, uh, the VIN number, the license plate number, uh, the total value, what you're gonna be selling it for, the deposit, specifically say non-refundable deposit of $500. You take the money, you, have, you make two copies of that, you give him one, you keep one, you both sign it, right? So you have the copy with his signature, he has the copy with your signature, and um, you give him the time. And, and during this time, right, you still take calls for the car like you're selling it, all right? You don't stop answering the phone call. You don't stop collecting your leads, all right? Keep renewing your ad on Craigslist or wherever you're advertising. Keep collecting leads because you never know what's gonna happen. Now, at the end of those 10 days, that either the guy's gonna either show up with the rest of the 4,500 to pay you, done deal, or it's not gonna happen. And you basically keep the 500, Plus, you got a bunch of new people to say, hey, the car's still available. So when you get people calling you and you have a car on hold, just say, listen, um, I know you're interested. I am pretty much have it sold. Some guy gave me a deposit on it. He needs a couple more days to come up with the money. But if it doesn't work out, I will call you back and take their information down. This way, if it doesn't go through, you have a bunch of leads lined up ready to call back and say, hey, I got my car for sale. So hopefully you have like five or six people waiting. You call them back, one guy super still interested, he wants to buy it. Boom, you close the deal that way, plus you put an extra 500 in your pocket. I've done that many times. I've actually sold a sailboat uh, once. This is a couple of years ago, I think 2012 or so. 2000, yeah, around early 2012 before I went to Mexico. <clears throat> um, I was selling the boat for like 13.5 and I had a nice sail, uh, 30 foot, 29 foot, uh, sailboat i forgot what brand it was it might have been a cal 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 29 anyway i was asking 13.5 for it uh some guy gave me five thousand dollars down payment he wanted two months to come up with the balance so i said fine now i was at that point i was paying like 150 a month for the dock fee um but i said don't worry about it i'll take care of it you know so he paid me five grand down. I gave him a two month contract. He couldn't come up with the rest of the money and I kept it. I mean, that's business. I turned down a lot of people for, you know, a lot of interested prospects that wanted to buy the boat that I lost, right? So I ended up selling it again and I actually got 13,000 for it. So it's 13 plus five, so $17,000 I got for the boat. And I only paid like $7,500 for it when I initially bought it. And I really didn't do much to it. So <clears throat> that just gives you an example of how, how powerful uh, a, a non-refundable deposit is and how powerful collecting leads is even though the sale sort of went through. All right, so even though you got a deposit, you pretty much think you sold it, don't ignore 
the leads coming in because it might not go through. And that happened to me many times with cars, like I, like I said, with the sailboat. So I hope you enjoyed this little negotiation tactic. Take your non-refundable deposit, you know, figure out what's a, what's a you know, agreeable time between you, seller, and buyer. Uh, if, if the guy's saying he needs a week, give him 10 days, right? If he says he only needs five days, give him seven days, right? Create the contract, say, hey, listen, I'm gonna be turning down buyers because of you. So this is a non-refundable deposit. You know, I'm, I'm losing sales because you're not coming up if, if you don't follow through. So do it that way, it works like a charm. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tip about negotiating and uh, holding your car. So anyway, it's Tony from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. If you want to learn more tips on learning how to flip cars to profit in the private party market and the you know with auctions and all of that, check out my site, HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. I think you're gonna get a lot of information. Click on the book on this page on the image right here. Click on the book. You'll go and get my free manual. Teach you more about what I do and how you can copy my strategies to basically flip cars to profit and make a few extra thousand dollars per month uh, if you're in college. Uh, maybe you're a senior citizen looking for you know, some extra income. This is a great way if you know how to negotiate, you know how to get deals, you know how to wheel and deal, you can make a lot of side profit uh, to add to what you're doing right now. It's a great extra stream of you know, income that, uh, that you can put to work for you. Anyway, it's Tony. Have a great day. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to check out the website to get that free information that I just talked about. And I'll see you soon. Have a great day.